and I saw your new uh, comedy. Stand crazy. That good. That good. Oh, that's wild. That's wild. I laughed myself to pieces. You yeah. laughed yourself to pieces. <laughs> You're gone, right? <laughs> yes, I laughed myself to pieces. You have brought back comedy in its true form without vulgarity. And thank God for you. Well, I don't think this other stuff is going to go away. No, I know. Because as long as you have uh, certain TV programs and they entice the young or the new to do that kind of thing, and audiences. Audiences are there and laughing. We don't know if they're laughing when you see them on TV. You don't know if the cut to the audience is they're laughing at the joke the person just told or if they've just taken shots and then they intersperse the things so that the person rocking and laughing might be have been laughing at something else. Well, I want to thank God for both of you because you've been a part and of my And our life. God and our parents. Yes, mm -hmm. right. And our parents because, see, the depth of his home life is what is important. And, and the depth of my home life, but also my grandparents' uh, paternal side, and what they tried to teach, and what they tried to instill. If your child is bright enough and loves you enough, you're already 75% away from the devil. When did you two become friends? How long when you we, friends? we were married, downtown <laughs> City Hall, and uh, it was a great celebration. <clears throat> and I would have kissed him publicly, but I, at the time I had some dinner work done. Well, what are you gonna and do what now? I did, did was I home? went, I went to kiss him, and the denture <laughs> broke, broke loose. Cut, and I bit him on the, on the eye. Your forehead. And the, I'm sorry. <laughs> I lost my anatomy. What are we going to do when he stops giving me festivals? We're going to have a day off. <laughs> <laughs> what are you and going I, to do? I'm going to be with my wife. No, you, but what is Mr. Williams going to Mr. do? Mr. Williams is going to enjoy you. himself. Mr. Williams is going to wake up on a Thursday morning of last week, you understand, because this is Sunday. He's going to wake up Thursday next year, and, and his whole body is going to say, you have to get ready. we got to go down. And then all of a sudden, a voice is going to say, we don't have to do that again. And that's when he'll start walking around the house talking to himself. <laughs> and that's, when, that's when his children are going to come, and they say, uh, Dad, it's time for you to take a ride and to go down to Byberry and have an exam. What are you going to do now? We, we, we need you. Well, let me put it this way. We're going to continue the music, but uh, my feeling about a scholarship jazz festival is that people should be willing to give without getting paid. Because it's something that we wanted to do. We're not encouraging anybody to do what you know, whatever you feel. But there's a need. We were all teachers, and we were in a situation where it was needed. So other people are coming in for money only, and they're very good. Don't, I'm not taking that away. They're worthy of their position, but it's more cordial for us, you know, because we're around young people, and we know what the needs are. And that's what we want to try to, that's the reason why we got with Mr. Cosby and he has graciously accepted that role.